Today's episode of Triggered is sponsored by War Robots! War Robots! Robots of War! These peaceful robots are such a bore! They got different skills! Give you all your robot thrills! Motherfucking War Robots! Yeah! War Robots! Alright, I'll stop singing now, if indeed that is what I was just doing. Uh, War Robots is a tactical 6 versus 6 multiplayer with a huge variety of robots with different skills, which helps the player find his or own, her own style of play. It's got great 3D graphics, a huge community with more than 50 million installs, constant updates for constant evolution of gameplay, and the bonus link in the description offers you the GI Patton robot uh, with Arrow War Paint, Punisher Machine Guns, 400,000 silver, and 100 gold. Oh man, robots killing robots. When will they learn to live together in peace? Well, hopefully never, because they're WAR ROBOTS! So if you're looking for a cool action game that you can play on the go, be sure to check out War Robots. And uh, remember, as always, supporting my sponsors helps to support this channel. So be sure to check out War Robots in the description. With that out of the way, let's begin the video. Yeah. So, a middle school in Mississippi named after the president of the Confederacy, Jefferson Davis, is being renamed Barack Obama Elementary School. Uh, does that seem like they're overcompensating a little? You know, maybe. Anyway, uh, here's some people on Twitter who are upset about it. So they renamed the school because they considered Jefferson Davis to be a racist, but yet they rename it after a man who hates America. Okay, first of all, they don't consider Jefferson Davis racist. He was president of the Confederacy. His racism is not up for any sort of fucking debate. Despite the narrative of some Southern revisionists, the Civil War was fought almost entirely on the issue of slavery. If you're the leader of the we think black people should be slaves side of that war, then you're a racist. Not racist question mark, not even racist period, racist exclamation point, racist. And if Davis's Confederacy had won, then maybe we today wouldn't look at uh, the word racism as being a bad word, but they lost, so we do. Second of all, uh, does Barack Obama hate America? The country where he served president for two terms? Uh, no, I don't, I don't agree with Barack Obama's vision for America. I don't, but, um, and most people I've met, they don't agree with it. Be they, be they to the left, be they to the right, they don't agree with it. But I'm pretty sure that Obama doesn't hate America. I mean, why would he? His story is one of ultimate prosperity of the American dream. It would be truly bizarre for him to hate America. I'm from Mississippi, and this upsets me. They find Jefferson Davis offensive but going to name after the one who divided America. Um, you're aware that Jefferson Davis was the head of a group of secessionists who literally divided America, right? Not just like, man, us Americans really can't agree ideologically and we're gonna have to argue about it. More like, us Americans hate each other and we're going to engage in a civil war that costs more American lives than any other war, including World War II. I mean, 620,000 people died in the Civil War. I think that division is ever so slightly worse than the back and forth bickering that existed under Obama. So I've never been particularly interested in going to college, even though I dropped out of high school. My ACT scores were good enough that I was sent invitations to go to LSU and a few other colleges. Uh, nothing Ivy League or super impressive but it was flattering. Uh, I didn't even consider it though. I'm just not cut out for it. Too much structure, you know? I need to be in my own realm of bullshit. However, I saw something recently that made me reconsider my anti-college stance. Uh, Michigan, uh, Michigan University offering first ever degree in marijuana studies. Now they're making it clear that if you think this is gonna be a sit around the class and smoke weed, you're gonna be sorely disappointed. It's actually a tough class, biology, chemistry, all that stuff. But I think it would be worth it, you know, just to impress other stoners. You know, some guys like trying to impress, dude, I made a bong out of a, an old antique camera once, <sighs> you know? Oh yeah? How quaint, okay. Uh, I happen to be a PhD in marijuana studies, so boom, I win, no contest. And you know, it's not related to a specific story, but I actually would like to go back for a moment and expand on something I mentioned. I dropped out of high school when I was 16. 
literally as soon as I turned 16, I dropped out. And I'd basically been spending the years before that counting down the days until I was 16 because that was the minimum age to drop out here in Louisiana. And I don't know if that's the case in all states or not, but that's the case here. And I was just counting it down. Like, when will I be 16? When do I get to drop out? Anyway, a lot of people have this habit of trying to use this argument uh, against me. Uh, whenever I say something they disagree with me on, they fall instantly at, oh, well, you're a high school dropout, so you don't really get it. You know, that's the argument, which aside from being a total ad hominem, is just really fucking stupid. And most high school graduates should know exactly why it's stupid, because high school is bullshit. It's four years of indoctrination where you're taught virtually nothing of value. Critical thinking skills are not taught, philosophy is not taught, science and math are taught, but only joylessly and lifelessly in a way that doesn't ignite passion for those subjects. History is taught, but usually only from one perspective, and that perspective usually conforms to the politics of the region. I think anyone who went through high school, whether they did well or they did poorly, can probably recognize the truth of what I've said. So why would anyone make so silly a statement as, what, you didn't choose to suffer through four years of that? You must be an idiot. No, actually, I think you're an idiot for going through it for four years. Uh, that's just a little something that's been sticking in my craw for a little while. It's good to get it off my chest, you know? What the fuck? What? I thought I unplugged this damn thing. I ain't answering. I'm not answering it. I, I mean, it's, it's just gonna be some bullshit. Fine. Jesus fucking Christ. Hello? Yeah, TJ. I uh, just wanted to say uh, you're a big inspiration. Oh. Well, well, thank you. That's very... F just kidding, bitch. You suck. Kill yourself. Ah, you fucking son of a bitch! Fucking fan phone. I hate the fucking fan phone. This is, I thought I'd unplug this goddamn th The fuck? Some weird shit going on around here. I guess it's Halloween, so spooky shit abounds. You know what else I hate? When my video isn't long enough and I have to pad it out with a BuzzFeed quiz. Here you go. This Disney Would You Rather will tell you which Disney realm uh, you belong in. It's about fucking time, goddamn. I've always wondered that, you know? I've always sat around at night with my eyes wide open, like, which Disney realm do I belong in? Finally, I can know. So let's see what it is. Surprise, you're actually a princess. I, that's not surprising to me. I already knew that. What does your new royal home look like? Uh, a castle in the city, an estate in the country. Well, I don't, uh, I don't know. I guess an estate in the country, man. You know? Don't need, don't need a city around me. Don't need all those people, throngs of people. Would you rather be able to travel anywhere instantly or be able to talk to animals? Well, one of the things I like about animals is that they cannot talk. So I'm going to go with travel anywhere instantly. Uh, that way, when I'm watching TV or something, I'm like, oh, man, I got to fucking take a piss. I can just appear in the bathroom and take that piss. Better yet, I could uh, appear in Steve Shives' house while he's sleeping and just piss on him, and then, boom, I'm gone. You know, sorry, Steve. I wouldn't really piss on you, even if you were on fire. <laughs> uh, a prince named Chris is going to sweep you off your feet. Pick one. Well, definitely not this dude, because he looks fucking retarded. Uh, so let's see. Which one of these has the highest net worth? Probably this guy, right? Yeah. Chris, uh, whatever his name is, the Jurassic World guy. Let's get him. Would you rather have food magically prepared for you every night or be able to win any fight, verbal or physical, with anyone? I mean, look, free food is tempting, but, I mean, like, obviously I'd want to win any fight, verbal or physical, with anyone. I mean, that's fucking awesome. Um, would you rather never have carbs again or never have sex again? Man, I don't, I don't, I don't even want to make this fucking choice. I guess I'll go with carbs. I gotta get my my rocks off. Um, you get one fairy godmother. Choose wisely. J.K. Rowling, Beyonce, Oprah, Lady Gaga, Fiona the hippo. Well, that shit would bite me. Or a puppy. I'll take the puppy. All right, I should be in the realm of Tangled, and let's hear their reasoning. You belong in the kingdom of Corona from Tangled. There, you would discover. 
that you're also a long lost princess with magical hair, except your hair doesn't heal mortal wounds. It just gives people like really clear skin. But there's definitely a market for that, you know? Yeah, there is. And I have good skin. I mean, my skin's pretty clear. You know, I mean, I do have a blackhead problem up here, but for the most part, you know, I'm, I'm fairly free from blemishes and shit. So thank you, BuzzFeed. It's good to know <laughs> that I would be a fucking beautiful haired princess in the, the realm of Tangled. This is awesome. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to compete with, uh, with, with fucking Rapunzel there. My hair is getting pretty fucking long. All right, um, that was this stupid shit. Segment over. Bye. If you have something that you think would be great for Triggered, send it to me on my Facebook page linked below, and please give this video a thumbs up and share it with all your friends and all your enemies and all your acquaintances and even people you've never met before. Just walk up to them in the street and be like, here, here's a fucking TJ Kirk video. Who's TJ Kirk? I'm TJ Kirk. Peace the fuck out. Fuck.